There's a strong connection between our mindset and our health, and studies show that having a more positive and encouraging mindset can help decrease stress. Joining us now to share his secret hacks to boost your energy is our good friend and guru, Shaman Dirk. Welcome back to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. I really miss you all. <laughs> well, we've missed you too, Shaman. So you say everyone can become their own guru. How so? Well, in order to be your own guru, you have to create a system that is functioning for you because not every single trend that's out there is supporting you so that you can be able to, you know, to prosper and to have good health and to live the life and live your best life. So it's important for people to be able to create their own understanding of what it means to be their own guru. Why do you think we, we shouldn't follow the example of others? Well, the thing is, is that when we're following the example of others, we're not creating an understanding of what it means to create that preservation for ourselves. So we're stepping into other people's ideas of what works for them, but our body, our chemistry, the way that our upbringing has been, the way that we operate in our life is completely different from another person. When we become more independent in who we are, we begin to create systems that support us, our families and our friends begin to understand that we are creating that that wellspring for ourselves, and it makes us more stronger and more powerful to trust our wisdom and be able to make steps in life that we know are going to be secure because we're not dependent upon another person and that gives us resilience and power to move forward all right you say ask what you can give yourself instead of seeking it from others Yes, a lot of times people don't acknowledge themselves. They don't pay attention to what they need. They pay attention to what everyone else needs or they pay attention to what they think someone needs in order to feel loved, accepted, valued, seen and heard. So what it does is it creates a, a displacement with yourself. So when you start asking yourself, what can you give yourself in order to be happy? What can you give yourself in order to stay, stay motivated and have the willpower to move forward in what it is that you want to do in life. The more we begin to ask that question to ourselves, and the more we begin to provide that for ourselves, we become a resource onto ourselves, which means we become more secure, more grounded, and we become more powerful in the nature of our being. So we're able to make decisions and execute our life in the right way and optimize who we are as we're living as a human being on this planet. Dirk, the last tip you say is to let go of the pressures we create for ourselves and our own lives. Absolutely. So you just said something that was so important and valuable and poignant to our evolution on this planet. A lot of people look towards the masses or the numbers of people that believe the same thing and they make their decisions based on those ideas. They don't understand that if we continue to operate in this way, we're going to be subjected to every single type of emotional stress and strain that is being created within those systems. So in order for us to be able Able to to alleviate stress and expectation we have to realize that expectation is fear it is governed by fear it is the idea of pressure and limitation being placed on you where you feel you have to meet some demand or you feel guilty or shameful for not being able to meet it or the fact that you choose to meet it and then end up taking it out on yourself later we as human beings have to begin to fortify ourselves in different ways both mentally and emotionally and the way we do so is being aware that that the more expectations we place on ourselves, the more burden. And that leads to people drinking and obsessive uh, shopping and all types of addiction because addiction is a way of taking a power grab from the things that you feel is already pressurizing you and making you feel that you have to do. So that's one place where you can say, I can do this and I get my guilty pleasure. But the thing is, those guilty pleasures don't always end up in the right way. It can lead to obesity and all kinds of different things because human beings are operating on the idea that I have all this expectation, so this is the place where I get to thrive, and that's not the place to thrive. Thriving is honoring your space, owning who you are, and realizing that expectation is a limitation to your freedom. You're good. All right, great information. <laughs> As always, thank you so much, Shaman Durek. It's a pleasure.